Hi, this is James Bossman with iRobot, and I want to show you our Brava Jet mopping robot. Uh, this is one of our latest uh, connected robots. And as you can see, it's small uh, and square, and this is by design. Um, so this, this robot is meant specifically for smaller areas like kitchens and bathrooms. And the mopping robot um, does really uh, complement the Roomba, where the Roomba vacuums the BravaJet is able to mop. And uh, I'll show you a little bit how this works. So the way the system works, you've got three pads, and each of the pads do a different cleaning action. You've got the blue wet pad, you've got the orange damp pad, and the white uh, dry cleaning pad. And the blue damp pad is your, uh, probably your deepest clean, and um, what you'll do is you'll, you'll take the pad and I'll show you here. You take the pad, you slide it into the robot, you hear the click and you're ready to go. And the robot knows what to do based on these little cutouts in the bottom of the pad. So the robot will behave differently with each pad and that's based on the code that it's reading from the pad. You would set it on your floor, hit the clean button, and what you just heard is the robot actually um, squirting out water out of the front nozzle. And this is the wet mode, the wet, uh, wet mopping mode. And what it's doing is it's cleaning in this vining pattern, and it's also vibrating so this pad is vibrating so it's agitating the dirt on the floor and the water is helping loosen it up while the while the uh, vibrating pad agitates the dirt and, su and sucks the dirt and debris up into the pad so once it comes to an edge just like the Roomba it'll turn around and, and head back in the uh, different direction so once your robots uh, finished cleaning You'll pick it up by its handle, bring it over to the trash, and as you can see here, we've got an inject button, um, and that's so that you don't have to touch the dirty pad. As you can imagine, after cleaning a bathroom or a kitchen floor, you do not want to touch what's on the bottom of that pad. So you simply click the eject button, and into the trash it goes, and it's ready to be charged for the next cleaning mission. So the way uh, this robot works in wet and damp mode is, is through uh, emitting water and you would the user would fill up this uh, reservoir here with water it's about three quarters cup of water and close the cap and you would put the pad on and off it goes um, again I mentioned that this is a, a, a connected robot so in our iRobot home app uh, again similar to the Roomba uh, 900 series you can actually customize um, the cleaning preferences for this robot. Uh, for example, if you have um, hardwood floors that you do want to give a, uh, a damp clean, but you're, you know, the floors are sensitive to water, you can actually dial up or down the level of water that the robot um, will spray out. All right, so the Brava Jet is a uh, connected via Bluetooth uh, robot so similar to the 900 series you can actually register your brava jet with our irobot home app and here as you can see here what what robots are um, on your irobot home app and you would click into brava jet right now um, we don't have a cleaning pad so it's showing you there's no cleaning pad um, three tabs here uh, on the left is a link to where you can purchase pads uh, in the center is a spot cleaning mode so similar to the Roomba um, most Roombas have a spot cleaning mode and if you had a quick spill and you wanted to clean up you know, a, a you know, three or four foot diameter, um, that's what spot cleaning mode is for. And on the right we have um, uh, settings. So you, can, you have pad option settings. So if, for example, you have really sensitive hardwood floors but you still want to do a, a damp cleaning, you could actually <laughs> dial the water level up or down um, to your to your liking. So again, this is the Brava Jet mopping robot.
It's $199. You can find it on iRobot.com or uh, leading retailers.